Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys how to take trades using your swipe coin app. Uh, so first of all, I'm going to show you, I'm going to share my screen so you all can see how we do this. I'm also going to be using trading view, all right? I'm going to be using trading view so you can basically understand it better. Uh, mind you, you can also use what we call the meta trader for charts. Same thing, all right? So um, I need me to share my screen. Okay, good. Uh, so first things first, uh, you have your chart looks like this. You can make it bigger, you know, make it better. So your chart looks like this. Uh, your meta trader for or your trading view dot com, okay? Um, some people will say, okay, how do I get here? First of all, it's super easy. You could, uh, let me start it over again so you guys can see it. All right, it's very, very easy. So the first thing I want you to do is to go to your trading view. And once you get to trading view, remember you can actually use my actual default. Once you get to trading view, click on the, the left hand side here and then click on chat. Uh, you're gonna have something like this. Okay. All you now need to do is to go to so click on um, the 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 one you want to use here, somewhere here, like the currency pairs. All right. So I'm gonna use something new that doesn't have my own setup, something fresh. So I'm gonna use uh, bits and X or what they call it now. You can use anyone, that's fine. All right, Wait, I'm gonna delete this, delete this. So I'll show you guys properly how to get this done. All right, so I'm gonna delete this too. Okay, great. So now we're here, the next thing you wanna do is to go to your Swipe Coin app. So your Swipe app consists of, uh, you can use this, the one in the, the, the browser, myswipecoin.com, my sign in, and you see something like this, you see the trading like that, you click on it. And uh, let me show you guys, you see you see them differently, you see them, there are so many of them, all exchanges, and look for the latest one. So I'm gonna be looking at this, paying attention to this because this is a this is a recent one that just played out, so I want to let you guys know how to you know effectively take a trade easily, and knowing if the trade is still valid or not valid. All right, great. So um, the next so first thing you're gonna do go to your chart, go put it to XRP USD, XRP USD, you know, so you could use the same, okay. Now, the next is that you wanna make sure that you know where the market is right now. You know your stop loss, you know your, all your TPs. All right, so the what you're gonna do first is go to your charts and uh, the, the, this last zone here, this last zone is your stop loss, all right? This one, two, three, and your TPs, TP one, TP two, TP three. And then this box here, these are your entries. These are a particular place that you can actually enter the market from, all right? So for me personally, if the market doesn't go below 74, 500 and stay, stay below, this, this trade is too active. So what I mean means that it could get, get closer to here and still go up. It could still even touch this area but doesn't close below and still go up. You know, but you want to make sure that you're also not over leveraging. You are you're able to take a trade again, even though it hits a stop loss, if it's still valid. You know, those are area things that would help you a lot. And um, you're able to secure profit when you when you are in profits. You should definitely secure profits. So let, let's explain, let's now see how we can do the same thing in our charts so you can actually see it better. Okay. So, you know, some people don't necessarily have to go through all this. Some people just, you know, once they scare here, they just go take the trade, you know, they look at their chart and see, is it my entry? 
But for me, I, I like to teach people how to, you know, effectively take trades. So you go to your trade line, you know, you can do your lines, get your horizontal line. The first place you're putting it at your stop loss. And you see your stop loss 74, 500, right? So you can put it at that area, 74, 500. You know, make sure that it's like red. So it's like a danger sign that, okay, this is my danger zone. All right. So now the other thing you want to do is like, okay, where are my TPs at? So you can see your TP at 8,500, 8,500, so you want to go put lines there to look at this area, line 8,500. If you notice, they're all structures. These are, for those of us that know how to you know, my high trade, you, you can even tell already where the TPs are going to be because the market is going to test a particular structure. I right, can see this already. This is the this is like a resistance. So I think the TP is very close to the resistance already. Okay, so let's see. Boom, that's it. So you can see the market came here, dropped, came here, dropped, came here, dropped. Those are areas where the markets have tested before. So I'm gonna use a green color for this. You know, okay, so this are, this, are, this is gonna be our TP1. So what are you expecting? You're expecting the market to calm down and you can hit your TP1. All right, so that these you need to look out for. So TP2 is 83,500. You get another line. 83,500. All right, so 83,500, right? So look at this too. You see that it's a sort of structure in a way. Okay, so now, of course, the last one is 88,500, which is very far. So I'm using the 15 minutes. You can always change it to maybe the four hours. Look at when I give you what hours they're telling you to use, page four. You know, but I'll tell you that always use your, your 15 minutes for your entry. So you can see the market moving. All right, so let's go to four hours so we can really, really see, you know, areas that are giving us easily. Okay, so, um, yeah, 80, 88,500. This is a big, this is a big push here. You know, this is a, it's all area the market has tested before. I like to go to one hour so I can see it even better. Okay, good. One hour, I can see it even better. Clearly. Okay, this looks good. All right, so this is our TP1, TP2, our TP3. And these are stop loss. So now, what, what are we gonna look for now? Our entry. All right, so look at this box, right? Look at this box. Stopped at 80, 78, 500 area to where? I think 77,000, all right? So what I expect you to do, if you don't even, you can put a line or better still, you could go get a box, right? Rectangular box and just put that, uh, 78, right? 78. So, so this is your entry here. Uh, yeah. Exactly. So now you can see that the market has tested this area severally, you know, previously. It came, came here, market tested, and you could, you know, enter, enter from here, which is great. So what, what am I saying? Anything from here to here. Market is valid. It's a good entry point, right? And me personally now, if it doesn't break this line here, market is structured. So I'm going to do one thing. I'm going to put a line just below this and put a make it maybe a uh, orange or something. Now, so this is this, this is where this is where me personally I'll say okay. This is this is a good. This is going to be my second entry. No. I knew that somebody was going to jump on and talk. <laughs> As best as using my. Anyways, sorry about that, guys. Um, so, yeah. Once you're able to do this, who's that? What, uh, what decision is that? What decision are you talking about, Joe? This is the entry. Look at it. Yeah, look at the entry. This is the entry. Look at this area. You know, and me, I'm just I, I, because of I trade. I, I will say this is this is where 
I don't want the market to go and break below, you know. And for some something you guys need to also understand is that you can always check what has happened before in the market. You can see that this is a this is also a possible entry, even when it came close, as long as it didn't break below this and you know start going to start going down. But as long as it stayed below above or rather, the market pushed all the way up. So that those the, literally this is what made the case of saying something like this because it's a potential entry again. It's happened before, you know, multiple times. It happened here again too when the market pushed all the way up and you know had to push more pushed up, you know, and it's been happening like that. So it's a possible entry and look at it playing out perfectly well in you know you know in our trade setup here. So uh what are we looking out for? And if you also notice the market came to this second entry here, I mean, CP, and pushed up, you know, so th this area at this formal resistance became a what became a support. You know, a lot of things you're going to learn in the academy once you get started. I hope you guys are following me. All right. So yeah, perfect entry area point move all the way up. So now you've got that, you're waiting for the market to just come into this. So this is what I teach my people. I tell them, your first entry may be in the upside here, this area, just where this box is. So you're waiting for it to come, you can enter there. And the market draws down a little bit, you can still enter this area too. So now you have two entries, one and two. Of course, there are people that will take multiple entries and target to be one, you know, the, and instantly maybe drop a little bit, they tie again, target to be two, you know, and, um, you know, depending on your trading account, you can target to be three too. You know, makes it making you in three trade. But with that advice that I'll tell you that it's just you can just do two. You know, I, I like I love I love to be <laughs> to be two the most. You know, uh, most of the trade ideas always get to be two. You know, and uh, it just makes you make more money. You know, tip one is quite close, but you know, if you're someone that wants to play safe, target or tip one. You know. And make your money and you're, and you're out of the way. You know, you're not, you're not greedy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, but then if you see a move that goes all the way to TP2, you're like wondering like, why didn't I just put TP2 as my TP? You know, and boom, you're 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 free, you enter the trade, you've got in your entry, look at the instruction that was given. Even when the market was going up, you know, the, you just says wait for it to get to this box again, you know. And um, you notice this, this was one. So I did it three times. All right, he did it three good times. We check our, our market here. One, two, just wait for it again, wait for it. Don't enter a trade when it's already up. You know, wait for it to come back to the box. You know, if you miss it, you miss it. If you not, you enter on a better entry, you know. And of course, you're, 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 you're always put your stop loss. All right, I see some people not putting your stop loss. Market can actually just do something that you, you know it's not even planned, like you know, go all the way down, you know, but someone takes you away, you know, and then you can analyze another trade idea. And guys, that's it basically. With this, you got your entry, you you know where you're entering from, and be patient, you know, let the trade ride. You know, if you put TP1, fine. If you put TP1 and hit TP1, second entry can take you to TP2, you know. Let's trade ride right and enjoy yourself. But this is what I'll tell you guys. The moment you get to your, you know, to this area, the market goes all the way up. Take out your stop loss. You know, remember this is this box is our entry, right? Take out your stop loss and put it above your entry. So you change your, your stop loss from 74 now to 80, 78, you know, 79,000, 0.79. Why? Because you, you're securing your profit. You're not caring what the market is doing. You know, you're just making sure that now you can leave your phone, go do whatever you want to do, knowing that you're still in profit. You know, once you get to an area like this, you know, why not secure more profit? Secure more profit. Take your stop loss, change it again. Just put it, put it where you're going to secure more profit. You know, and now the market came down to hit your stop loss. You already made money for the day. You're not good. You know, 
uh, for those of us that know how to re-enter a trade, you can actually catch it on this next uh, support here and you're back in the trade again. All right, so make sure that you're always securing stop loss. Don't, 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 don't let your trade go in profit and then come back in loss. You know, what do I mean? Let me show you guys something. Because you're targeting lots of money. You're targeting lots of money. Uh, let's see, let's see what happened in the past. Let's look. Let's let's take here as an example. All right, you entered at the area when it was here. Market made some move. You, you you know you, you let your stop loss be is right it. But guess what? Market can literally come back to that entry again. So imagine seeing a lot of money, and uh, you're not taking you're only securing your profit. Because imagine here, with a mid money here, mid money here, all the way, you know, mid money here, uh, you know, all the money you're securing. Um, don't, don't get me wrong, but you can actually catch the sell. You know, if you know this area is a very strong uh, resistance, you can wait for it to catch a sell to all the way down. You know, and it's also called a scrapper or a dining street, I guess. So yeah, guys, so basically that's it. Uh, I, I don't know if anybody has any question they want to ask. Let me know, let me see the chat box. Oh, you got you. okay, great. You have any questions you want to know more you know let, let me know because right now i think i'm done explaining how to enter trades using your swipe coin right swipe coin does it happen all the time definitely not but we have good good win rates with accuracy all right especially nick gomez is a beast like nick gomez literally he he doesn't just watch take trades he wait for it he perfectly you know and you know, all the time you just hear 400 pieces book, 700 pieces book. So imagine you're, you're, you're part of this 400, part of those 700, kind of money you're going to be making consistently. Do we use the same procedure when using MT4? Yeah, MT4, the same thing. MT4 chart is the same thing as your trading view. You can just box it all, all the way. Why I'm giving you this, I want you guys to be able to see what you're doing, not just taking the trade. Because right now we teach more on zones. So if you can know a zone, you can actually catch a trade, even by your own. You know, even by, on your own, you can be able to catch a trade and like make money through it. I'm going to go back to my 15 minutes. I like my trade on 15 minutes. All right, good. I like my trade on 15 minutes, good. So yeah, that's it, guys. You can see everything looks good. And I'll stop recording now. So hope you guys got value from this. Those are gonna watch this. Uh, try this a lot in your demo if you're still not confident enough. And uh, know your lines, and you're gonna be good. Okay. Bye, guys. Thank you.